and welcome to today's quick edit. Uh, again, I am I have another photo today that I took kind of out and about in the town. This is taken in the same tea shop as the tea ones uh, yesterday. This is a macro image of some macrame. Uh, again, taken on the A6000 that I carry with me with my Sony 30 millimeter 3.5 macro lens. It's a crop sensor lens. I took this image at ISO 320 at 30 millimeters, f4 and 1 one hundredth of a second. It is handheld and taken with the available light in the shop I was in. It was also kind of up high and I'm real short. So I think in, a, in an ideal situation with a tripod and everything else, I would have gotten the overall image sharper, maybe shot it at uh, f8 and gotten a sharper image but I think I did pretty good considering odd angle and everything else and available light so I'm actually going to keep it and work with it and we'll sharpen it up a little bit because I think it is sharp enough to work well not everything has to be perfectly good, sharp and in focus if you bring it in it looks pretty good to me besides it's fuzzy fuzzy yarn all right so I brought it in using the profile, the Adobe Color Profile. Everything else is zeroed out. Let's check, so let's turn on clipping. Warnings. Bring the contrast up, not the contrast, the exposure, we'll start with the exposure. Up just a little bit, that's more than I want. That's 2.5, 0.5. Wow, 0 0.5, there we go, I can type. And, and bring the contrast up. Not too much. If I get too much, look when I go too much, it makes the yarn look dirty. So I'm just gonna bring it up about to there. Let's see. Pulling the highlights up just a little bit. So I'm actually you know, you don't want to lose details in the shadows, but I would like to lose some of the detail in the shadow behind the macrame. So I'm going to turn my shadows down. My white's up just a little bit to make the yarn look cleaner. I'm going to bring my blacks down for more contrast and again, more separation between the macrame and the wall behind it. So a little bit of clarity because not too much, of course, you never want to do too much. I think that might be a little much adding too much noise in there. Let's see what happens. How much of that is the fault? My other adjustments. Let's see. Just playing with the other ones to see if if it's just noisy or if those are at fault. And I think mostly it's just noise, so. We'll take care of that a little bit later if we if I even feel it's necessary. We'll see. I'm still going to bring the clarity up just a couple of points, not very much. We don't want something to you know do horrible things like that. Just enough to be a little bit more uh, distinction between the individual strands of the yarn. I'm going to dehaze it a tiny bit as well because there's. Let's go back to looking at it full size. There we go. Really, no, I don't want to have hybrids change. I'm just playing with here. I think it's interesting in black and white. Hmm. But I don't think I'm going to do it in black and white. I'm not going to do any saturation. I'm going to bring the saturation down a little bit. Let's go back up to the contrast. I want contrast up. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's bring the contrast down a little bit. So it's monochrome feeling, but not a black and white photo. So let's work here. The tones, let's see, yeah. That is giving me a little bit of detail in there that I like in the shadows, highlights. Oh yeah, get the lights up a little bit, bring the darks down just a little bit. Looking good. All right, and the hue saturation luminance. Um, there was a lot of yellow in here, let's see. 
happens when we bring adjust to that. So bring the luminance of the yellow. Now I'm going to leave it flat. All right. We're going to bring, let's bring the saturation of the yellow down. Since there was a lot of that in there. There we go. Leave the split toning alone. So let's try for a little noise reduction without losing too much detail. I think we need more color than anything else. All right, so I'm sliding it all the way to the right and then bringing it down till it's acceptable. Do the same with luminance. Really, there's not a whole lot of change happening here. Well, it, there was change. My computer was just taking time to catch up. All right, I'm happy with that. Again, I have a built-in lens profile applied. If you don't, you're going to want to enable all of those. I don't need to actually uh, turn on the corrections because it applies them automatically, but I'm doing it because it still removes a little bit more chromatic aberration uh, than it does without it on. I think especially in this where we have the yellow tones, removing any of the purple, it makes a smoother image. And let's look at some vignetting. I don't know. Let's see. Nope, not going to do any vignetting. And I'm happy with that photo. So I am done with this one for today. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next quick edit. Every day, I share a new photo on Instagram, Patreon, and my website. On Instagram, I share the Instagram ratio cropped image. On Patreon, I share the uncropped image. And my patrons can download either the web resolution or the full high resolution image every day along with a weekly Lightroom preset based on one of the week's daily photos. Prints are available on my website at terrymcclary.com. Patreon supporters can also get discount codes to use on prints. Every day, I also post a quick edit video here on YouTube where I edit the photo of the day. To get the daily quick edit video in your YouTube feed, make sure to subscribe. If you already subscribe, ring the bell down below to get notifications when new videos are posted.